All right, well, listen. I mean, bottom line is it, it, you shouldn't take it. It's cheating in baseball, whether the thought process, whatever that might be, uh, I'm injured, I'll try it, da-da-da. It's cheating. There's no other way around it. You can sit there and you can tell me, ah, come on, Chris, you get off your high horse. Say anything you want. You want your kids taking it? And I don't want to come across as father of the year because God knows I am not. God knows. God knows. I'm not, I, God knows. But I, I would think that if my kid came home from high school 10 years from now or five years from now or whatever it might be and said, Dad, by the way, you know, I see that Bonds did this and Brian Roberts did that and Andy Pettit did this and Roger Clemens, by the way, did that. You know what? I'm going to start taking HGH. You can you be happy with that? Yeah, son, go ahead, Tim. Take it all you want. Yeah, let me help. Let me, yeah, stick out your fanny. Let me put it in your butt, buttocks. Yeah, give me the needle. Boom. Hold tight. Hold tight, Tim. Honey, can you get me a little swab? So if there's a little bleed, give me a Band-Aid. Hey, Kira, Timmy just took HGH. Can you get me a Band-Aid? Come on. 232, Sports Radio 66. The Fan, WFAN, New York. Jimmy in the Bronx. Jim, what's going on? Hey, Doc, how you doing? Hello, Jimmy. What do you have, pal? Listen, I was in, in August. I went out to see the Yankees and the Angels with my daughter. And the Monday, that Monday, we went to play golf. And Clemens and Pettit, we met up with them. And on the third hole, they came around. They, they passed us. They were playing with Marty Barrett. They signed our autograph card. They gave us golf balls, Yankee logo golf balls with all Clemens stats on them. I asked my daughter the other day what she thought about the, the steroids. She said, no big deal. And if, uh, what did you, hopefully, what did you say in response? It is no big deal because she's going to forget about it. And most impressionable 14 year olds, those, those people are larger than life. Uh, it doesn't matter to them. The, the children aren't going to look at them as, as, and think that stero uh, Clemens did steroids. Uh, Jimmy, did steroids. Uh, I don't know if women, I guess women can do HGH too. Why not? They're athletes. Uh, uh, if your girl came home tomorrow and said, you know, Dad, I just took, just like my hero Roger, I just got a, I just bought a shipment uh, from a drug guy who's zipping around school of HGH. You going to like that? Oh, not at all, but I think it's a different scenario where those guys are ball players who are larger than Oh, so it's figures. okay for the ball player to do it who's a role model, but if your daughter does it as a problem, how does that work exactly? Who says that, who says that, he, that they're role models? Because that's the way of the game. You know, my kid wears the Red Sox jerseys every so darn day. And he's a role model. Hey, Timmy, uh, come over here. Come, come over here. Take your Papa Bond jersey and get over here. Will you get over here? Thank you. Timmy, here. Listen, I want you to become big and strong like Papa Bond. I, uh, uh, Mommy and Daddy bought you some HGH, okay? So you can throw the ball five miles an hour faster. So here, take your shorts down. Honey, can you get me a swab, please? Kira, I need a little iodine in case it bleeds. It's not going to hurt Tim, just a little pinch. But I promise you, once the season starts, you're going to throw 93 on the gun. And who knows? Maybe you could be Roger Clemens, too. That's what you want? You know what I'll do? I'll make it a, I'll make it a stocking stuffer for Christmas. My pal is Pat Williams. I will tell you the story about Pat. His great new book on the Sixers in a little bit. He comes by in a sec. Let's do the Men's Warehouse update with our pal Mink, Sports Radio 66. W -F -A